How's it going everyone? Nick with Foreclosure Finder. I'm back with another walkthrough of the week. Don't forget to like and subscribe. New videos every Saturday morning. We are out here today in North Attleboro, Massachusetts at another one of my brokerage's foreclosure assignments. Going to be walking through this one uh, for the first time. They just did the eviction the other day. So we're getting in, seeing what's going on. This one's a bit rough. So I figured it'd be a good one just to point out, um, you know, some of the issues and what we keep an eye out for uh, at these properties. So as is tradition, we'll start out in the front few things to notice so uh, we got brick um, here at the bottom we got uh, aluminum siding uh, at the top and then uh, we got we do have some there we go some roof issues here we'll see some on the back as well so roof looks like it's gonna need some some work at some point obviously with this being a, an eviction place is gonna be a little messy uh, a lot of deferred maintenance as you've come to expect with these properties so just keeping that in mind when we uh, when we walk around again very overgrown as well so we're just going to try to get the best we can in terms of the yard a few things i'm noticing here on the side of the house the uh the framing around the windows looks like it's getting uh, rotted out all on the side here there's some more uh, wood rot under this um under this little balcony here too this is the balcony off the uh the main bedroom a few uh few things like this oh it's not aluminum it just looks like aluminum okay this, uh, this feels very soft. It's like, a, almost feels like particle board. So it's wood, but not similar to the wood, the wood shingles we've seen. So I apologize for that mistake earlier in the video. We got wood over here. Here's some more of the, uh, the rot evidence as well. Okay, so just keeping an eye out, thinking about it, you know, what would have cost something like this. This actually looks like it might've been a woodpecker. I see some, uh, you can see the dots, like the line of dots there. So maybe they had an animal getting here and you know obviously with the deferred maintenance that's not going to get addressed nice little private backyard we are kind of treed in from the uh the surrounding neighbors so we're walking up the hill a little bit to the corner i'll paint the picture around we get a nice row of trees um and then to the back of the the back of the house so it is a pretty private lot uh this neighbor's on you a little bit but i think there's enough vegetation there to uh to have a nice barrier getting a look at the back of the house back of the roof looks a lot better than the front uh, this side seems to be the problem area and that would make sense with the trees kind of hitting it right on the top because so I can see some discoloration on the top here too I don't know if it's coming in the video but seeing a bit of it there it look, okay and we got two two sets of siding here so we got green siding blue siding the blue wood seeing some more damage on this window here some more rot so siding may need to be addressed in some capacity oh maybe there's the original color Take a look at that. So that might have been the original color of the home when they painted over it. And then this is like an addition. What do we got here? Wood as well. So similar. So it's like the uh, vinyl style, but just made out of wood. Okay. Interesting. Some, uh, some of the soffits and uh, wood up there. Looks like it's going to deteriorate it as well. But again, with a wood exterior like this, wood siding, you're going to have to keep up the, with the maintenance. You can't just kind of let it go. Because once it gets compromised, it's it's just a matter of if, not when. Kind of walk through this junk a little bit, just watching where I step. They did have a wood stove in there, so that would explain a lot of this uh, wood. But I'll come over here, we'll get this angle of the garage side. So one car garage, not too bad, it's full of junk. We see the, uh, the little side. So this has to be, this was, there's actually no access here. I'm gonna try to get in there at some point, but I think it's from the outside and that's like a little sunroom on the top. So just taking a look more, uh, neighbor's got a rooster, so we might hear that a few times in the video. And then you see just some of the overgrowth here. I mean, this bush is, look, it looks like it hasn't been trimmed in about 10 years. And then you see some of the growth going up the, uh, the side here. So deferred maintenance, you guys already know. It's pretty standard with these properties. So after the walk around the outside, I think we can, head on in here raised ranch style not too bad the uh the the functionality of this one's a lot better than most mostly because the some of the interior walls have been taken out again mind the mess they just did the eviction here everything left is going to be considered trash garbage you know that the bank will the bank will clean out at some point so uh, we got the living room here, good good space, good size, uh, you know, pretty standard in terms of a raised ranch layout, nothing too fancy. One of the key differences I'll say is that there's usually, usually either a wall here 
or a wall here separating the kitchen and the dining room or like the dining area and the living room. So the fact that this is all open, we'll get a good angle from the other side there. That's a plus. I would, I would consider that a plus. This really opens up the space. Got a bit of a broken window here. Preservation will take a look at that. But if I come from this angle, just to give you an idea, we'll paint around. So the kitchen and then looking back into that living room. So you get pretty open, you know, in the corner here, you can see, you know, both ways. Let's, uh, let's just pop in here. This is that little porch right above the, uh, right above the outside with the uh, different siding. This is pretty nice, plenty of natural light. This is obviously newer than the rest of the house, so it's in a bit better shape. They got some built-in speakers here too, the sunlights or skylights. So this is pretty nice. You can see, you know, this is where you have breakfast, hang out. Pretty cool. Missing a few fixtures and, and stuff. We're gonna see plenty of that. And then the, uh, the kitchen. So not bad. They got the pass through here. I don't hate that. And I am sitting, in, I am standing in like the dining area. So plenty of room here, big open space in the middle. Uh, maybe they were using, uh, this is like the back deck. Maybe they were using this for access at one point. Can we back, get back here? Let's see, take a look. Yep, so the back deck, not too bad. Good size, you can definitely, you know, get the grill out here. Nice privacy as well, you can see down to the yard, okay. Not too bad, you can see some of the deferred maintenance just growing straight out of the gutter there. All right. It looks pretty bad, but honestly, it's not too bad. We got the wood paneling on the wall, that'll, you know, that'll come down, some drywall repairs, paint it, you know, nice and easy. We'll head down the uh, the hallway here into the bedrooms and the bathroom. So a few of these rooms don't have operation. Power is on, but not in every room. So we'll just uh, we'll pan over here into the to the bathroom. We got our hot pink tile, always popular back in the day. See how long it's lasted. We got a little issue at the bottom, but not too bad. Okay, and then so it looks like they went for a little bit of a different style there. I don't think it matches the uh, the pink too well, but hey, who am I to judge? That's a, you know, homeowner special. They just tried their hand at the tile, went right over the, uh, right over the insert there. Again, pretty standard, a little, little thing down there. Not too bad, we'll turn around in here. Okay, good size. There is a bathroom downstairs, but that one is, uh, that one's toast. So, you know, good size bathroom here, plenty of room, little pass through. You got the big shower. I guess the only issue is we don't have a tub, uh, but that, you know, that could always be uh, that could always be replaced. That's a that's an easy fix. We'll go into uh, bedroom number one here. Pretty standard, nothing too crazy. Looks like they were doing something with the ceiling and the lights. We'll go in here and turn around. Uh, electric baseboard, so it is electric heat. That's a little bit of a negative with this house, I would argue, just because uh, electric is expensive uh, in terms of heat. The the silver linings are each room does have its own, you know, not working but its own thermostat. So everyone can have their own their own temperature. Go ahead and turn around in here, bedroom number two. Decent sized rooms. You know, definitely uh, definitely get your bedroom set and everything in here. We'll just come around in the corner here, get the other side. We got some of the, uh, the spotlights in here. Interesting fixture choice. Some issues with the windows. I mean, some cracking. One of the windows is fully missing in the next bedroom we're gonna go in. So we'll take a look at that. Just, you know, a few issues like the doors. We'll get the light on in here just because there's no light in here either. All right, a little mirror there, hello. So we got some hanging light there, but like I said, not working. Some more spotlights. They, they really like their spotlights in here. This was the door to that little balcony. I am not gonna walk on that because it did not look too sound. So we'll, we'll stay out of that for now. Just turning around, taking a look at the rest of the room. This is like one of those, uh, maybe they put like stuff in there so the squirrels and the birds can come in and they can look at them. Because otherwise I don't know what that is. Okay. Now with the raised ranch, we are going to get some living space in the lower level. We'll head down there now, mostly because I think we are complete up here. Some of the old style, the crank windows, wood windows, uh, you know, we saw some damaged windows. So those will need to be addressed in some capacity. We'll go downstairs here. So this is the lower level. Again, like you get the living space. we got the garage area and some more. Uh, you know, obviously some, some issues down here we're gonna see pretty pretty easily. Using this as a living space, and I mean, this is more than, more than uh, serviceable. The old style wood paneling, no big deal. A little bit of a 
something under there, maybe getting in. A rodent or something. Quick pan around, and then like another, basically like another living area off the living area. They do have a wood stove in here, so that would explain the uh, all the wood piles we saw. Take a look at this thing. It's a big boy. I've actually never seen one in this style with like the two doors in the front like that. It's kind of interesting. And then we see some of the uh, the issues. So it looks like they had a water leak down here in some capacity. Taking a look, pan up. So yeah, maybe some, some plumbing leak because the bathroom's right on the other side here. So just taking a look, not seeing anything too crazy. We got carpet on the walls. That's a first. I've seen carpet on in the bathroom before, but never on the walls. That's interesting. All right, more electric baseboards down here. We'll pop in. This was like the little laundry room, bathroom area. So this is where the laundry was. We got the water heater here. Again, no furnace because it is electric heat. Yeah, so it looks like they had some type of plumbing issue here and just never got around to, to fixing it. Some more of the tile down here. This is the other half, this is the half bath. So again, just more issues for seeing. Uh, this looks like it would have been a more recent repair, but this doesn't look like it's been in use for a while. This one was a little funky because obviously the place isn't in great shape. People were living in here as of a few days ago. So, uh, you know, you're, you're kind of always asking those questions. That's the dryer vent. That goes all the way through the garage. I thought that was kind of funny. Uh, you'll see the length of that. Might have a little mold down there, some discoloration. Okay. We'll pop over here, and here's the garage. One car garage. It's a little tight with the shelving, I'll be honest with you. Um, I don't know if you're going to get your car in here unless you got a uh, smart car or a Mini Cooper or something like that. Lots of storage. This was that vent going all the way out, and they had it feeding out... Um, Feeding out the garage door there. Looks like they just they just capped it for now. We got newer electric service there. No fuses. That's always good. Nice big wood pile for that wood stove. I mean, good size, good size garage. Again, it's just all the junk in here is kind of making it feel more uh, claustrophobic than it actually is. Okay, not too bad. And I think there was one final room here. Yes. So we have this little study library something because they got all the shelving in here. Very dark just because of the wood and the shelving, but you did get the nice little fireplace and yeah, maybe this was like the library. They had their book collection down here or something uh, with all these uh, with all these built-ins. Maybe this was the office, who knows? Who knows, your guess is as good as mine. What do you guys think this room was used for? I, I'd see this is my library all day. I don't have the books to fill it up yet, but nice reading chair, get the fire going, a little mini fridge. Sounds like a good time to me. Okay, uh, I think that might be it. I think we've covered the whole house. Again, a little rougher, but just pointing out some of the stuff, you know, we'll need pretty much full updating. That's an easy one. Somebody come in here, strip this place down, get it back to its, uh, to its former glory. All right, I think that's gonna wrap it up for today. Appreciate everyone sticking around for another walkthrough of the week. Again, don't forget to like and subscribe. New videos every Saturday morning. Nick signing off till next time. See ya.